privileged and honored to speak uh, uh, in the in behalf of the company uh, what Balambaniapo is all about. Um, indeed, uh, in these trying times, uh, it's, it's nice to see uh, an opportunity to still present what our business is all about. Um, yeah, I've always wanted to share uh, our business um, with other people as much as possible. And this is another very new venue to speak no? about uh, our business. So thank you guys for, this is my first Zoom franchise seminar. <laughs> kind of awkward, but yeah, I hope we'll uh, do a good job. Okay. So anyway, Madam Baliempo, uh, you see, as you can see in our slide, it says uh, our company vision and mission. We want to introduce to the Filipinos what Balamban style of roasting is all about. Um, we basically combine this uh, unique taste of lechon, Cebu. I'm sure you're familiar with what uh, lechon is and what uh, the Cebu style of uh, lechon is and how we are very uh, much into the herbs and the, the taste profile of what, uh, what lechon is. What we're doing is we're just incorporating that system of using the herbs and spices of lechon, Cebu lechon, and putting it into our a daily fare, no? which is Liempo. Um, it's cost effective, it's take out, it's a truly unique experience. Um, in fact, uh, our 11 years has shown that indeed a lot of people are uh, really uh, into our uh, product. So, Balamba Niempo. Uh, we are already, uh, as a company, we're, we've been around for 11 years. Uh, our goal is still the same. We want to be uh, the Liempo of choice. So there are a lot of Lechon Manoks, a lot of uh, brands all across the Philippines. But there is only a very few um, brands that you can actually think of uh, when it comes to Liempo. So we want to be the brand of choice. So when you say Liempo, it has to be Balamban Liempo in your mind. So that is our goal in our vision as a company. So in terms of history, if you can see, uh, we started our business 2009, just me and my wife. Uh, I was working for a corporate uh, company in the food uh, industry as well. My, my wife just finished her um, culinary arts. Uh, my wife, by the way, is from Balamban. So she's really the original Balamban resident. I just come from Cebu City. And uh, Balamban is, for those who are not familiar, it's a province, it's a municipality, an hour's drive from Cebu City. It's a farm and fishing municipality, uh, previously known for its shipbuilding business. And um, that's where, basically, where we put our, uh, our inspiration from. Uh, Balamban is known, in fact, there are a lot of stores there where uh, they're really known for that style of using lechon herbs and putting it into their liempo. Um, there are some small brands there that started it. And then what I just did was I brought it to Cebu. So I was inspired by how they made their liempo in Balamban. And we branded it Balamban Liempo. Of course, nobody had that name then. And my wife, I was the one who suggested, why don't we call it Balamban Liempo so that we can be identified that we are different from the other Liempo purveyors uh, in Cebu. So that's exactly what we did. We started our first store right there in my father's uh, garage. Uh, we uh, started out only with an investment, very, very minimal investment. And then uh, it started from there, just a takeout format. Then a lot of people started to to identify, hey, this this Liempo is different from the others. And a lot of people started talking about it on the internet. A lot of people started to buy from us. And uh, from there, uh, we uh, expanded because um, we were a hit. No? In 2009, a lot of people really started talking about our brand. And um, we expanded. We opened around four branches on our first year, then another 10 branches on our second year. And right now, after 11 years, we have more than 100 stores nationwide. Of course, uh, as like I said, it started as a hole in the wall business. Um, a lot of clients actually uh, used to try our Liempo and they also went to Balamba Liempo and they're very happy because they don't need to travel 
an hour's drive just to be able to uh, taste no, the uniqueness of our product. So a lot of these uh, customers literally became our our uh, advertisers because they used to tell their friends, hey, you, you try this campo here. It's so different from the others. And those were my very first, uh, what you call that, uh, advertisers. They were my endorsers. And uh, we started, we, we, I resigned from my job after a year. We uh, made this a full-time uh, endeavor. A lot of my friends wanted to franchise also. A lot of them wanted to get into the business. We came up with a certain logos. We evolved, no? Because, like I said, I, I just a salesman. When I started my company, I was I was an uh, area sales manager for uh, um, food food company, and then I really didn't know much as far as starting a brand or marketing or manufacturing. All these things I had to learn while I was building my business. So we came up with logos. Then we also um, we um, innovated, we came up with different concepts. So if you notice, if you take a look at our uh, product, no, Balamalia Po is really different. It's distinct. If you look at it, it's a golden brown slab of marbleized pork belly. So it looks the same. If you take a look, most uh, Po businesses, they're the same. But when you smell it, that's the difference. It's an aromatic smell of fresh herbs and spices. When you chop our liempo, then you can see uh, what you call the herbs. So if you can see the picture, you can see the herbs right there inside our liempo. So when, even when you um, just look at our liempo, you know there must be something different with this. Because we started late. There are a lot of election manok businesses all around, more than 30 years, 40 years. But we were able to establish ourselves and our name because of this uniqueness of the smell, the flavor of our liempo. Of course, if you take a look at our typical um, features, huh? uh, you can see there's a uh, part of it, it's about six inches by three inches. And then there's also a standard that we follow. There should be 70% meat and 30% fat. So that's an advantage if you don't want to eat more of the fat uh, with our liempo, even though it's still pork belly, there's 70% of that, which is meat and lean. Okay, So that's a picture of our... Uh, we have both six inches by three inches, 70% fat, meat, and 30% fat. Okay, so now let's talk about investing in this business. So we've been in this business since 2009. It's been established more than 100 uh, branches nationwide. It's a unique product. It's uh, very different from all other businesses. Um, it, is, it really gives value to your investment. Now, if you take a look at our franchise fees and inclusion, uh, that has also changed through the years because of the value of our product. <clears throat> we have, uh, right now, our existing uh, franchise package is 500,000 pesos. It includes the following. Uh, it includes, of course, the franchise rights. It's good for five years. Uh, we will take care of your construction. So that's the difference with other uh, franchise um, offerings where they only sell the rights and you still have to incorporate upon your investment not just the selling of the franchise rights you have to uh, construct your store but here your your investment is just uh, in inclusive of the store itself so we make and construct a 10 square meter takeout counter okay then uh, we will also inclusive of that is a wraparound signage then we will also include the griller the roaster, okay, and of course the freezer, okay. Um, training of staff will be good for two weeks. We will also provide you an operations manual that will include all the systems and procedures that has made us succeed and different from all the other um, businesses selling them. And of course, upon the day where you will start your business, we are there to support you. Uh, we will give you some store items as well. Of course, the contract term is five years, and good news, there's no royalty fees. So when you just, it's like um, you just pay for your initial investment and uh, just get from, from us your stocks, and we don't charge any royalties, okay? And I think uh, basically, if you're asking, so do I have what it takes to be a Balambalinapo franchisee? 
Uh, first, you need to look, of course, your financial capacity. And of course, uh, that should not just be for the initial run, but sure, over the long term. Then you should have good financial standing. What's important to us is a good business relationship. Uh, we give you a credit term called one up, one down, but we want people to really sustain their business by be coming up with uh, um, right enough no? uh, capitalization for, this, for their business. Of course, um, you need to manage this business personally. That's one of the key uh, success factors that I found among our successful franchisees. We've been franchising for around 10 years already. And we, we know that a lot of our successful franchisees really were hands-on with their business. They didn't necessarily have to cook the pork themselves, but they were involved directly, especially with cash, collections, managing the store, taking care of uh, the customers. They have to be all in in uh, the franchising business. It's not just like you're buying a business or investing money and you just wish and you expect you know everything to just come to you and uh, the revenues and the profits will just automatically go inside. It's not going to happen like that. Then, of course, <laughs> we're going to require you to be there for the next two weeks when we start the store. Uh, we also want you to maintain the same values of our company mission and vision. And of course, what's important is local knowledge. So if you are a person who wants to open a business in Balamban Liampo with a certain location in mind, it's better, it's, it's an advantage if you are a resident there, okay? Also, a proven track record would also be a successful business already. Uh, we would also look into that as uh, probable um, franchisees, okay? Of course, just submit to us a letter of intent and the necessary requirements. So just email uh, this, uh, this group or um, whatever questions you have, uh, we can also assist you. So uh, I think basically that's my presentation.